Let's go. Yes, sir, it's your boy, and we're back at it again. Yes, sir. You know what that's for. We back at it, man. About to get on some heat today. Yo, if you just not catching this on YouTube, I appreciate you for tuning in. But guess what? I'm live on Twizzage right now. So pull up link in the description. Follow your boy. Stay updated. Catch me live whenever you get the chance. And uh, you already know what to do. Like, comment, and scissor up all of the above. Now let's get into it. Okay, let's get it. Orient season one, episode two. Now, we just finished watching episode one because um, I'm catching this off a of recommendation. And I mean, so far it seems legit, pretty simple to the point. So let's see how they keep developing the story. Let's get it. There's his, his pickaxe, which looks like a double scythe. So he's been made fun of his entire life. Like, they've. I mean, okay, so he's young and they took over for a long time. So, yeah, since he was six, Kojito, that's his name. We got, uh, we got, before they say his name, Musashi. And now we got Ko, Kojito, Musashi and Kojito. Yeah, so some type of gate opened up. Oh, so they getting crazy with it. They just driving around slicing motherfuckers. These got to be entry level. You know what I mean? These got to be entry level villains right now. Entry level demons. Okay, so we're getting another anime with some weird ass creatures. He blocked that one. Oh, wait. He did it. There had to be something up with it, right? Okay, he got regen. So they, they're eating. What it, whatever they're farming, they're, whatever they're mining. What is that? So something on this planet powers the Oni. Oh, nah. This is who y'all fighting off Rip? Oh, y'all are tripping. And Goku? Oh, nah. Y'all gotta get the fuck up out of there. Ain't no way. Y'all fighting that? These dudes gotta have a superpower. This nigga got six arms. The fuck is that? Wow. He got a double halo? Wow, you're supposed to fight that? Yeah, there's no way. Y'all have to have a level up right now. Snickers all up in your face. Bro, he grabbed your sword with the tips of his... Oh, he eats swords. This nigga eats swords, bro. That's crazy. It's like eating razor blades. He's saying, yeah, I just eat swords. It's like a, a fish bone. How big he is. That shit gonna be like a fishbone. Hey, this dude got stupid grip. This dude is flinging, a giant is flinging him around. And he's still holding on to it. So is this pop sword? Oh, he's got his own sword. Not trash. Let's go, be proud, baby. Pops put him on game. Said, hey man, it's time. Ni, San, Yon, oh, there you go, she. Go, Roku, Nana. Damn. Oh, shit, he let go. Oh, he grabbed, why he grabbed the blade? Damn. Said, bitch, backhand, he's really gonna eat it. Is he gonna have to go get his father's sword then? If he eats his? Wow. Uh oh. That's his pride. Oh shit, he gave Pops gave did give him his sword. Wow. He gonna go he gonna jump in his mouth? What is he gonna do? He just started climbing him? What? What kind of position is a demon in? Oh, he's on the belly. So that's his belly he's picking at? The demon can't just like slap his Oh, wow. He already got through. So he's breaking the armor. If that breaks, so they know that if... Wait, is that like a part of him? I'm confused on what this thing is. Is it separate from him? Oh, that was a whole separate situation. Wait. No, that was his belly. That was weird. 
It's just a weird design. He opened his belly up and he he died. So now he just he fell in the stomach acids. Like what kind of? He's still alive. He went to go find that shit. Ain't digested. So this nigga just opened up a demon's stomach, went inside, found a sword, and gave back to his boy. And that's it? The fight's over? So you just got to open up the demon bellies? That's how you beat him? Don't he regen? The sword that been sitting in stomach acid. Okay, so the, the, the friendship, they got their pride back, okay? Wait, what? Whoa! Is everything moving? Somebody using earth magic? It's a ship. Nah. Whoa, so the Bushin are lit. Oh, they're around. Oh my god, it's a whole army. It's a whole corpse. Takeda, Takeda. Ooh. So they get powered from their, their bikes. It's regening. Yeah, bro. You saw it earlier. He like, fuck that. We fighting too, bro. This hard fight. I want them hands. Oh. Okay, a little level up. He on some shit. He got red crystals. This man's got that. He said, fuck this. He said, I don't care. Fuck up out my way. <laughs> he said, it. come on, boy. Get up on it. Get your shit together. Stop being a little bitch. Okay. Blue hair. Everybody got blue hair? Okay. Takeda band. So Bushin got blue hair. This kid's got red hair, so he's almost like the opposite of Bushin, but... Okay. We getting some shit, man. We getting some shit. Uh, we got some new people popping up. We got a whole squad uh, pulling up. They call them bands, so we got a Bushin band popping up. They, they pulled up with a whole temple, a whole goddamn hotel, a whole academy. They pulled up with the whole shebang, broke through the broke through the force field and just started bodying right off rip they didn't take down the big demon yet but they've been uh i guess they're just holding it off for this big attack that they're getting ready for um and they're noticing you know this i don't say the redhead kid who is musashi they're noticing him and his heart just because he's he's in the midst of the battle you know and, and that captain is actually fucking with it there might be something there that he actually might ask him to join but now i'm seeing this is starting to get into i'm not gonna say one piece but the vibe of factions you know or like pirate crews so you got bunshin bands you're gonna you're gonna come across a bunch of bunshin bands because they they were ranked i think right if i damn I, we just seen it were they the number one bunshin band but yeah they're they're high so there's multiple Bushin bands all over the world going around to these smaller cities and saving them from the Oni. So yeah. And they don't they don't show up until real motherfuckers show up. So that's very interesting that they didn't save the place earlier before this happened. But yeah. I mean we're we're getting more characters, we're getting a little more story. We got some backstory on Ko Kojiro. We're getting a backstory on Kojiro. With him and his pops, we see that Musashi is his bros from Jump. So, yeah, I mean, everything's legit. I know that his pops had white hair, and he had blonde hair, so he must be mixed. I'm assuming pop's hair was white because he was older, an older Bushi. But now I'm just wondering, unless they they just all have blue hair on purpose? I don't know why that all of them, all the Bushi have blue hair. That's what I'm confused about. Maybe because it's their super DNA like super like ancestors of of uh them and these were like and like uh kojiro and his father were like outcasted bushi maybe not sure because he might have potential because of who his pops is or his pops was you know so we got to figure all that out as well and musashi is just powering his way through to being a bushi even though he's not a descendant but i mean he's been leveling up himself so he's kind of like the asta 
he's not he doesn't have the bushy background but he's really just going for it like fuck it i'm gonna be a bushy you know so it's that it's on that vibe straight shonen shit you know what I mean? I mean, it's it's legit. You know what I mean? So I'm fucking with it. And that's Orient. But if nobody's told you, I'm going to tell you I appreciate you. Appreciate you for stopping by, checking out the stream. Appreciate you checking out the YouTube. You already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far. But just know, I appreciate you. And as always, you know what it is, man. Have fun, stay fly, and be free. I'll catch y'all next time.